Hello and welcome back. My name's Jim and in this episode we're going to make a start on an inlet manifold for the injection project. Um, and I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking it too, uh, if I'm honest, but let's get into it. So these are the throttle bodies in question. They're off the CBR 600. We've got a 38 mil uh, bore, which is the same as what you'd want from a DTOE 40 once you've like put the choke plate and all the other stuff in it. Um, now the centers between these are 74 and a half mil and the centers between these are, I believe, just under 48 mil. I have the drawing anyway, which I'll come on to. So I need to come out from here, not only at an angle like upwards, but I need to come out. So this one will go slightly to the left, this one will go slightly to the right. Now there's two ways I can mount these. So I can leave them as they are, keep the rail, keep everything as it is standard, but it means making a more complex manifold. Particularly got to pay attention to where the the angles of these coming out and whether I've got enough room to get the bolt in. Or if I split these two bodies here and here, I can separate one and two from three and four, which is what I think I'll do. But I think what we'll do is we'll jump onto the laptop, get some designs made, and then come back. So when I was looking into the CBR 600 throttle bodies, I discovered that the engine is used a lot in Formula Student. And because of that, somebody spent a lot of time and drawn these up. And the model was available for free on a website called GrabCAD. I've put a link in the description uh, if anybody else is interested. But they're so detailed, and this is going to save me a lot of time. So I spent a few hours getting the position right of the throttle bodies in relation to the head. I'm right in thinking that I need to split these because... The angle on two and three would mean that you won't be able to get a socket in there to fit them. Uh, the other thing I've done is base the design around standard lengths and diameters of aluminium tubing. Um, I'm not set up to weld it, but I, can, I know somebody who can do it for me. Um, but if you are interested in how I actually drew this, let me know and I can do a bit of CAD stuff. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I just need to go and print them now. So, nine hours later and these have appeared. Uh, first off, they are a bit mucky because my hands aren't clean. Um, and secondly, I've had to sand the outers of these because, as I thought, the diameter of these is going to be slightly bigger. So when I get the material for this, I've got to remember to turn it down slightly um, and also have a lathe in which I can do that. But more importantly, I think we need to try and fit these on and see what it looks like. So I'm really interested to see. So let's get cracking with that. So let's get these stripped down. Now I've got a second rail to take off first because um, it's got eight injectors on it. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's just uh, releasing this nut here. And it just comes away. Uh, next up, oh, sorry my hand's in the way, but there's uh, an injector rail it just takes couple of m6 bolts and that'll just pull straight out really easy all the injectors are there and next up is the cold start so we've got an idle air control valve here works a bit like the choke um so that will move that um that shaft that runs across and open uh, essentially the the choke to all four cylinders um i'm not sure whether i'm going to keep this or not i might be able to get away with it but uh, I can keep all that in place, but it's just quite a lot of screws that hold the thing together, which all come out came out pretty easily. Actually, I was quite surprised. I expected one of these to be seized, but um, so far everything's moved quite nicely. Um, once I've got that shaft out, it's a bit fiddly. Um, I can actually split the throttle bodies. So again, M5 bolt, uh, one at the top, one at the bottom, and that'll come out really easily again. And they should part as they are now so really really quick next up though let's get it on the cylinder head with the manifold and see what it looks like 
And I've put the exhaust on there because I want to make sure that it actually fits. Um, I have got a plan to make a new exhaust, but I haven't drawn anything up yet. Um, but the great thing about these manifolds is that they bolt up quite nicely. I've got plenty of space to get in there. Um, quite liking that. Everything's going together quite nicely, uh, like I say. Um, one thing I'll need to check when I make these properly is that everything stays in line. Because what you don't want is the left sides be higher than the right. Um, so I might put a plate that goes between two and three so everything is is level on the manifold because that's a problem with some of the later twin 40 ones but throttle bodies just slide straight on actually it should make it really easy to fit and that's it all in initial looks on it i really like the way all this looks it's really smart uh, i've had to make a few adjustments um because the clips here they're quite close to the injector um, they're meant to be turned through 90 degrees, so I'm going to have to do some work on that. Um, and I really need to make sure I can get an injector rail in there. Same for two. It's not so bad for two and three, but definitely one and four. Um, I have noticed, though, that the exhaust is close on one and four. So if you look around here, I haven't got much clearance. That is going to get some serious heat through that if I'm keeping this manifold, which I'm not, but... I want to try and make sure that it would work if I wanted to. Yeah, you see here, it's just way too close. Two and three have got loads of space, which I'm happy about, but um, I'm going to have to rework that. So I think what I'll do is probably go back to the drawing uh, that I made, make it increase the angle slightly, um, play with the angles a little bit and uh, see what I can do, give myself some more clearance there, because I think that's what it needs. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, just bolted up fine. Everything looks smart. Um, but yeah, I'll go back and modify the drawing a bit and I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished. So we're back on the laptop again. I've made the runners slightly longer. I've increased the angle, went back and looked at the cylinder head. Now it looks like the angle of the ports in the head run about 12 degrees. So I'm going to try and match that. Um, I've also looked at the injector angle because what I'm trying to do is get it to fire as close to the valve stem as I can. Um, and I think I've got it right. I should do some testing on this, but I need to work out how to make a test rig. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, I'm not going to use the ports on the throttle bodies just because the angle's too strong. Um, it just won't be right. And the injector bosses themselves I've ordered you can just get those online saves for having to make them um, and then I'll just cut them to the right angle but let's get it printed and see what it looks like right first impressions these look absolutely mega in comparison so much happier look at all that clearance we've got here got bags inject position is amazing I've got plenty of clearance to put the the rail across um, I won't have to modify any of these clips, which is what I'm really happy about. They need to get bunged, uh, but we'll come on to that in a second. Yeah, I've got loads of clearance there. Even if I wanted to, I could take that angle of the exhaust when I come to do the design, which I'm going to start now I've got this sorted. If I bring that back up here, so what I could do is actually rotate this a few degrees. Um, it, yeah, it's going to add a bit of length here, but I mean, to be fair, the exhaust needs a lot of work anyway. I think what I'm going to do now is take some measurements of these two adjoining pieces, see if I can get that printed up. I've got to work out the throttle because I need, obviously, the cable will attach here. I mean, I can open this one. Also, check this out. The flow down there should be pretty good to say, you know, it's a bit of a bit of guesswork. Certainly a lot better than the original manifold, which was, you know, two uh, different length runners and all that other good stuff. Anyway, back to this. Now, that looks like it's aluminium. I will check that. Yeah, that's aluminium there because they are magnets and that isn't magnetic. Where is that is? Yeah. So what I'll have to do is get this plate off and modify it in a way 
that will support the uh, the load and work together. But I think that's going to be easier once the manifold's done. But yeah, that's looking really good. I'm well chuffed with that. In fact, there's only one thing I could do to make this better. So I thought I'd just put the head back on. Um, obviously, it's not bolted down, but it looks awesome. I've had to move the washer bottle because that was touching. I've had to move, well, I will have to move the horns, but I'm planning on doing that anyway. I think I'm going to have to take a little bit of length off this when I go to make it out of aluminium, but I've still got enough room to do everything I want. I'd just like a little bit more space here to get an airbox in because what I was thinking is I'll, I'll put like a, a Lotus style airbox in with a feed to here put the put like a, a cone filter that will sit in this spot and then it will keep it cut looking sort of factory even though it's not in any way um, so that's that's awesome I think next up I'll uh, get those those space a bit sorted and I'll get back to you So I hope you found that really interesting. I am really psyched with how that looks. Uh, I think having a longer runner between the um, between the throttle and the cylinder head, I think making that longer should give me some decent mid-range torque. A little bit of a sacrifice at the high end, but generally I'm driving at the mid-range. Um, I'm not taking this thing and track on and like beating it down. So um, I think it's going to run really well. Uh, what I need to do is figure out how I'm going to actually make it because I've used standard diameters of aluminium what i need to do is actually break that down design some tooling and order some actual aluminium and start making this which i think i'm going to move on to next um but i hope you enjoyed it i've got plenty more to be working on and i will have something soon so if you haven't already please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon thanks for watching